I grew up in a suburb about 40 minutes outside of Boston, so of course I had been in and out of the city countless times before I even started looking at colleges. Northeastern was an obvious choice for my college education, and after walking around campus for the first time, I knew that I would absolutely love to be a Husky. When acceptance letters finally rolled out, I was confused, but intrigued, by the fact that I had been accepted into NUN, a Northeastern program which I knew very little about. As I considered the opportunity I had been offered, the hardest choice for me was not whether or not I would participate in the program, but rather choosing where I would spend my first semester out of the five amazing destinations that NUN offers. Eventually, I was sold on England, and before I knew it, I was saying goodbye to my home, my family, and my friends to board a seven-hour plane trip from Boston to London. My transition to London, a new city in a foreign country, never really came to an end. It seemed that every day I would learn something new about the city I was to call home for my first semester. With the Gloucester Road tube station, High Street, Imperial College, and Hyde Park all within walking distance, my location in South Kensington could not have been better. Metrogate House was only a 10 minute walk from the Foundation for International Education where the majority of my classes took place. Classes that weren't at FIE were spent exploring the city and learning about London firsthand. I was learning this new city as a resident rather than a tourist and by the end of my first month, I almost felt like a local. The service learning component of my experience in London has been enriching and fun. I've helped clean the park, decorate a youth center for a Halloween party, and participated as a homework club tutor. The homework club, where I would spend about two hours every Wednesday, was at the Sion Manning Roman Catholic Girls School. Throughout this experience, I was able to use my education to help others that needed help with theirs, and in doing so, I was looked up to as both a teacher and a role model. When the midterm break rolled around, my friend Alex and I decided, last minute, to travel to Spain. Less than a week before the break began, we sat down and spent hours finding the cheapest flights and hostels that we could, and after midterms ended, we flew to Barcelona. We spent four days walking around the city, covering almost 60 miles in four days, finding the best views of the city from famous monuments and park. After Barcelona, we boarded a high-speed train to Madrid, where we would spend another four days exploring the maze-like city streets and again, hunting down the best views, sights, and attractions. Following the same pattern of last minute trips, I also visited Dublin on a November weekend to experience the local culture and amazing sights. My final trip in London was to Edinburgh, Scotland, and it is impossible to decide which trip was my favorite. My time in London has been nothing short of incredible. Being able to travel across the UK and other parts of Europe has opened my eyes to all the amazing opportunities that the world has to offer. There is so much more in this world to see, and thanks to the NUN program, I have made progress on an ever-expanding bucket list of places to go and things to do and see. While I am excited to return to Boston, the city that I have known my whole life, I will dearly miss London, the city that I have called home for the past four months. <laughs>